Good morning. Welcome back. Paging and dog tour. Loki, look at this therapy dog delivering hero healing kits to those working on the front lines, providing necessary materials like moisturizer, chapstick, chewing gum, and tea with help from her owner, of course. Here with more, Loki's owner and medical student at the University of Maryland, Carolyn Benzel. And Loki, good morning. Thank you for being here. Hi, thank you so much for having us. How cute are we? Tell me about Loki and how you got started doing this. Um, so Loki is a two and a half year old Rottweiler. She was given to me the same week I was accepted to medical school. And so we thought it would be a good idea to make her a therapy dog for the hospital there. And as you can see, it's kind of taken off. Oh my gosh, it's so fantastic. And I understand that you started this by FaceTiming with patients and nurses, right? Well, technically, we were working with them prior to the COVID epidemic, okay. and then once we got, once the moratorium was put on for all animal therapy visits, we decided that we should take it to the next level and try to figure out something else. So what has the reaction been? Um, it's been nothing but positivity and support. Um, I think that there's been a lot of people who just kind of need um, other people in the background to show them that they're being supported up on the front lines, whether it be first responders, nurses, custodians. And we've been trying to do that for people. It's so important right now to be able to put a smile on people's faces. And that ex that's exactly what you're doing through this. Exactly. And everyone loves a dog dressed up, no matter <laughs> if it's on FaceTime or in person. So. I know. Loki is so cute. Okay, so tell me about how much you've raised so far, because you've really done a number. Um, fortunately, I've had amazing people working beside me this whole time, helping me raise all these funds and donations. And we have gotten about... At this point, since this morning, I checked roughly 3,000 or more kits donated. Wow. Um, whether it be in our area or up in Philly or other locations that we have started up this whole um, care package. How far do you think you can go with it? Um, it really depends on how generous people want to be. Well, Loki, Loki is dressed up today, ready to get the day started, ready to put smiles on people's faces. I'm sure she's doing it right now. If people want to help, she's definitely doing it for me. <laughs> What's that? I said she's definitely doing it for me. So. Uh, me too, absolutely. If people want to help, how can they do that? Um, they can log into Loki's Facebook or Instagram page. It's Doctor Period Loki, and we have an Amazon wish list there. And we would truly appreciate any donations, or if they would like to try to get it started up in their respective states or Philadelphia or Rochester where I currently have them already going and in full steam ahead, uh, they can reach out to me and I can connect them there too. What's the hardest part right now before we let you go of just, you know, seeing everything that's going on on the front lines? Um, it's been really hard being a full-time medical student and not being able to be there because we have pulled back and now everything's through Zoom. So this is the best that I can do to try to make things better for all of my coworkers out there on the front lines, you know, yeah. making a difference for people. You are certainly doing that. Thank you so much, Caroline and Loki. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you so much for having us. So cute. Coming up, some governors rolling.